everyone. I was thinking, what is probably one of our favourite things to do at nursery? And I realised that it's painting. We all love painting, including myself and all the other teachers. So I thought I would um, do some butterfly printing with you. So first of all, we need a piece of paper, a pen, scissors, paint and some paintbrushes which I've got over there. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make a butterfly shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I know lots of you know how to do this, but I thought I would just, you know, show you again. So you need to fold your paper in half. It's quite tricky to do, so you might need some help to do that. So can you see the crease line in the middle? This is the crease line. So that means this is the middle of the paper. So this might be a bit tricky for some of you, so you might need to ask for some help. So find yourself a pen and draw yourself a butterfly shape. So remember you're only drawing half the butterfly shape on one half of your paper. Okay, so there's my butterfly head. So, so a butterfly has a head and then they have beautiful wings. Well, my pen doesn't work very well, but that's okay. I can still see the outline. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that. You can, can't you? Just about. So quickly, I'm going to cut this out. Again, you might need a little bit of help from an adult. So snip, snip, snip. I'm just going to do mine very, very quickly. And hopefully we will have a beautiful butterfly shape. Snip, snip, snip. Here we go. Keep going. I'm going as quickly as I can. Whoop. There we go. Move that out of the way. So if I open this up, here's our beautiful butterfly shape. There's her body in the middle, and these are her wings. Okay, so now we're going to uh, put some colour onto her wings, but we're only going to put the paint on one side of her wings. I'm going to choose this side, okay? Just this side. So, I'm going to choose blue and green and yellow for my butterfly. I have my little painting tray. Oh, it's a bit wet, but that's okay. I'm going to just splodge some paint into my little painting tray. So there's my blue and my green and my yellow. Don't know if there's any, oh, there's a little bit of yellow left. We're lucky. There's my three colours and my paintbrushes. I've got two paintbrushes. So remember, when you're making a butterfly pattern or print, you only need to paint on one side of your butterfly. There's the crease line, so that's the middle, but we are only going to paint on this side and then we'll fold it over to create another patterned wing. Are you ready? I'll show you how. I know lots of you know this, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So I'm going to do some splodges, just on one side, remember. So we've got some blue splodges. I'm going to do some green. Green is my favorite color. You can use your favorite colors. And then some yellow. Let me show you what I've done. So can you see my splodges? There we go. Again, it's just on one side of the butterfly wing. Okay, so next I'm going to pop it down and then I'm going to fold it over and spread it with my fingers, push down hard. What do you think is going to happen? Any ideas? That's right, I think lots of you have done this kind of thing at nursery before and probably at home too. So there's my butterfly all folded in half. So if we open it up, what do you think is going to happen? Look at that. I have made a beautiful butterfly. There you go. Why don't you try and make this at home? And then you could take a photograph and ask your mummy or daddy to pop it onto EY Log and then all the teachers can see too. 